No parking, 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 no parking. No parking. So with hours on the road sometimes, Maya and Teo are just in their own thoughts. And Maya, what have you done today? What do we have here? Jobs that I didn't want to do. Number one, punching. A boxer. So some survivalist? Number three, bull riding. Number four, doctor. Veterinarians? Yeah, number six, I don't want to be an astronaut because I might die. Alright, so now Maya's drawn what she wants to be. Singer, an artist, ukulele player, a horseback rider, and a ranger, and a mom. Pretty good list, Maya. <laughs> You're good, you're good. Okay, and stop. Vlog 38, we were in Little Rock, Arkansas, visiting some friends. They were friends we had from Myanmar, and now we are staying with some of their friends on Amelia Island in Florida. Apparently there's a submarine base out here, so the military dredges this area a lot and churns up a lot of old fossilized shark teeth. Teo has found his first shark tooth. He has just found a shark tooth also. Nice work. I think this is how our day is gonna end today. Everyone is in their happy place here. Beach comb until bedtime. We are heading over to the public boat ramp to do a stand-up paddle ride. We had left the inflatable SUP in the sun for too long and burst at the seam, so... We can still go, we've got another one, and we're borrowing one, but that was an expensive mistake. Amelia Island, we're in love with you. <laughs> so while in different places, we try to read books about the area. We read the book Hoot, which takes place in Florida. And now the kids are watching the movie Hoot. We have finished school and we are now going to bike Big Talbot Island. Amelia and Big Talbot Islands are barrier islands. They are part of a string of islands that run parallel to the coastline, creating coastal marshes, estuaries, and tidal inlets. These amazing places provide habitat for shorebirds, sea turtles, and coastal protection from powerful Atlantic storms. I don't like this flat ground. Why? It's too flat. Where's my downhills and uphills? What's powering you this time? Cookie! Chocolate chip cookie? Hey! Do you know what her toes smell like? Have you ever smelled her toes? No. They smell like Fritos. <laughs> Do you know what a Frito is? No. It's a corn chip? My sister loves sniffing dog paws. That's oh, yeah. so weird. They have the best smells. Why do you guys sniff dog paws? Because they have special smells. That's why they give off scents. <laughs> Our kids have dreamed of having a dog. As a transient family, we haven't been able to provide the home a dog needs. So, we soak up time with other people's dogs. So our new friend, Joyce, is hosting us. This is her dog, Piper. This is how Piper sleeps. All questions and all answers are contained within the dog. As with all the amazing people who have hosted us across the country, we thoroughly enjoy the conversations that lead to new understandings, connections, and inspiration. Going for a little morning jog. This little trail is awesome. Yay, Maya found one. Devin's run down here, and now she's joining us in the search. Yeah. I'm stoked, I found like the best one ever. Look at this. What? <laughs> Yay! Another one? Our new friend Joyce is involved in a number of conservation organizations. It is incredible how knowledgeable she is about the current status of so many animal species in the local ecosystem here. Last year when we saw her, only maybe 10 of them nested on Florida's shores the whole entire season. Which one did you let the 100 babies out? It was a loggerhead. 
44 babies we end up like we had to help watch go to the sea it's <laughs> truly incredible the way they the way they fan out it, for a moment you can imagine like an army of ants or something you know ah. and they so our last day on amelia island Maya's liking this trail more because it's not flat. We're just now waiting for our inflatable stand-up paddleboard to arrive, and then we're gonna take off, start heading north for the first time in a long time. So it's gonna be pretty much impossible for any of you to see, but there is a great horned owl nest right here with some chicks in it, and that is one perfectly camouflaged right there. So you got like 100 organizations on this island protecting the natural ecosystem, and then <laughs> and there's this giant paper mill right here. It's been pumping noxious smells on this community for almost 100 years. Some kind of jack on the front here. It's like off the track. So we're going to open it up and see what's going on. It's going. Look at that. Yes. Hi. Boom. Amelia Island. Good work, Brad. Dude, new friends. Yay, we like them. Like oh. We like being friends a lot. Right? You guys are awesome. It was so great. That was, that was great. Thank it's one thing to have yeah. it's one thing to have friends and family host us, but to have friends of friends that have never met us, totally open to letting us stay for three nights. While they're doing renovations. While they're doing renovations in their house. Wow. Yeah, you guys are really special people. The people we associate with a place frame our feelings of that place. There probably aren't better ambassadors for Amelia Island than our new friends, James, Joyce, and their dog, Piper. It is almost 9 p.m. and we've made it. How you doing, Road Warrior? 